Hello students, welcome to Sorosa's classes. In this video, I will be solving the following question from ISS 2017 paper 4. Now here it is given that in a supermarket there are two sales counter with a salesman in each one. So there are two sales counter and if the service time for each customer is exponential with mean of 4 minutes and if the people arrive in poison fashion at the rate of 10 an hour then we have to calculate the probability that a customer has to wait for being served expected percentage of idle time for each sales girl and if a customer has to wait then what would be the expected length of his waiting time now first now here we have we have two servers so the model being followed is multi-channel queuing model that is M M C infinity first come first service here the C that is the number of servers that is the number of servers this is equals to 2 so our c is equals to 2 next is lambda so lambda which is our mean arrival rate so lambda that is our mean arrival rate this is equals to 10 by 60 which is equals to 1 by 6 so our lambda which is the mean arrival rate it is 1 by 6 per minute so lambda is 1 by 6 per minute next is now mu that is the mean service rate For a server, for each server, for each server, this mu is equals to 1 by 4 per minute. So now since the C that is the number of servers, it is equals to 2, then the overall service rate, so the service rate. This is equals to C mu which is equals to 2 into 1 by 4 which is equals to 1 by 2. So the service rate is equals to 1 by 2 per minute. 1 by 2 per minute. So lambda by C mu this would be equals to 1 by 6 divided by 1 by 2 which is equals to 1 by 3 so lambda by c mu is equals to 1 by 3 now pn which is denoted by it is equals to the probability that there are n units in the system at any time there are n units in the system at any time. So PN is defined as the probability that there are n units in the system at any time. That is, it is the probability of having n customers in the system. Now P naught, this is equals to, it is equals to summation n goes from 0 to C minus 1, 1 by n factorial into lambda by mu raised to the power n plus 1 by c factorial into lambda by mu raised to the power c into c mu divided by c mu minus lambda all of this inverse now here our c is equals to 2 
so we would get summation n is equals to 0 to 1 1 by n factorial into lambda by mu now lambda is equals to 1 by 6 and mu is equals to 1 by 4 so it is 1 lambda by mu would be equals to 1 by 6 divided by 1 by 4 which is equals to 2 by 3 so lambda by mu is equals to 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 raised to the power n plus 1 by 2 factorial into 2 by 3 square into 2 into c mu is 2 into 1 by 4 which is 1 by 2 so 2 into 1 by 4 divided by 1 by 2 minus lambda is equals to 1 by 6 all of this inverse so this is equals to equals to 1 that is when n is equals to 0 1 by 0 factorial is 1 and 2 by 3 raised to the power 0 is also 1 so 1 plus 2 by 3 plus now here it is 2 factorial is 2 so 1 by 2 into 2 by 3 square into 1 by 2 divided by divided by 1 by 3 so this is equals to so this is equals to 1 plus 2 by 3 plus 1 by 2 into 2 by 3 in 2 by 3 square into 3 by 2 so it would cancel out ones and 2 would cancel out with each other so it is equals to 1 plus 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3 inverse inverse so which is equals to 2 inverse which is equals to 1 by 2 so our p naught our p naught is equals to 1 by 2 now let us move to our first question that is the probability that the customer has to wait for being served. Now when a customer has to wait, a customer will only wait if both the servers are occupied that is that the number of customers in the entire system that is the number of customers being served and in the queue it would be greater than equals to so if n is the number of customer in the system that is being served served plus waiting in queue waiting in queue so this n is greater than equals to 2 that means there are 3 or more customers in this system then the 2 customers will be served and other will remain in the queue then for those who are in the queue then those customer has to wait for being served. So the probability that a customer has to wait for being served this is nothing but probability that n is greater than equals to 2. Now the probability that n is greater than equals to 2, this is equals to summation n goes from 2 to infinity pn which is equals to lambda by mu raised to the power c into, into mu c where this mu c is equals to n mu for when our n is less than c and greater than equals to 1 and this mu c it is equals to c mu when our n is greater than equals to c. So this probability n is greater than equals to 2 it is equals to lambda by mu raised to the power c into mu c divided by c factorial into c into mu minus lambda into p naught. 
now lambda by mu is equals to 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 here c is equals to 2 so 2 now mu c now here n is greater than equals to 2 and c is equals to 2 so our n is always greater than equals to c so mu c is equals to c mu which is equals to 1 by 2 so our mu c is equals to c mu which is equals to 1 by 2 so we get 2 by 3 square into 1 by 2 divided by 2 factorial into c mu is again 1 by 2 minus 1 by 6 into p naught which is already calculated as 1 by 2 now in this video I am not deriving these formulas that how I am obtaining these formulas however you can check our videos on queuing theory to find out how these formulas are being derived. So we have our probability n greater than equals to 2 this is equals to 2 by 3 square into 1 by 2 divided by 2 factorial into 1 by 2 minus 1 by 6 into 1 by 2 so this is equals to it is equals to 2 by 3 square into 1 by 2 divided by 2 into 1 by 3 so we are cancelling out this so we would get it as 1 by 3 into 1 by 2 so which is equals to 1 by 6 so our probability that n is greater than equals to 2 this is equals to 1 by 6 or 0 0.167 so the probability that probability that the customer has to wait that is probability of having to wait for service this is equals to 0 0.167 so this is our answer number one now let's move to the second part here we have to find the expected percentage of idle time for each sales girl so we have to find out the expected percentage of idle time for each sales girl now the expected idle time for each sales girl This is given by the formula of 1 minus lambda divided by c mu. Now we have already calculated that lambda divided by c mu. This is equals to 1 by 3. So 1 minus 1 by 3 which is equals to 2 by 3. So the expected idle time for each sales girl it is 2 by 3 which is equals to 0 0.67 or 67 percent and now the third part of the question that is what is the expected length of his waiting time so the expected length of his waiting time expected length of customers waiting time customers waiting time this is given by the formula of 1 divided by c mu minus lambda now with this is equals to 1 divided by c mu is equals to 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 minus 1 by 6 which is equals to 1 divided by 1 by 3 or 3 minutes 
so the expected length of time or the expected length of customers waiting time this is equals to 3 minutes or if the customer has to wait then his expected waiting time would be of 3 minutes